to hear from you, 7 You can let us know uh, what you're expecting in our next uh, uh, international. The next international definitely is uh, is a game that will be a qualifier. We're up against Syria alone. And, of course, this two international is just to get ourselves ready uh, for that. And we would like to hear what you have to say before we cross over uh, to speak with uh, a former Super Eagles player, Mutsu Adek Boju. Yes, so let's get your calls in, 7 triple zero eight eight nine do you think by november we will be better you will be ready um you know would would have improved by november when we come up against our next opponent syria leone that will be an africa cup of nations qualifier all right so let's get to hear from you zero seven triple zero triple zero eight eight nine again that's zero seven triple zero triple zero eight eight nine let's get to hear from you uh, straight up and no chasing yes with how you've seen the team from the two international friendlies and now looking forward to the next game which is uh, an African Cup of Nations qualifiers are you expectant of an improvement hello hello can you speak up what's your name hello what's your name please my name is Chris Chris oh, hello Chris how are you today I'm very well thank you all right um Yes, I actually am expecting a um, very good and big improvement because looking at the games we, we played uh, the other day mm. and uh, yesterday, some of them were really interesting, you know, interesting, you know, uh, but they really need to do more. Mm. Uh, then um, for our coach, um, I will not say he should be fired. Okay. Uh, um, we cannot keep on. Uh, I mean, we can keep firing coaches. It does not really help him, you know. When we start it, another coach comes in with different tactics and everything will be destabilized and things like that. So, but what I want him to do is to really identify those people that are up and doing. Yeah? Then. Uh, uh, you know, project them, then those ones that are not really doing well, mm. they, they really need to up their game. Okay. You know? Uh, looking at that forward, I think, to me, I would have preferred uh, Osile with um, uh, Chukweze mm. and uh, the other guy, uh, the other guy that came in like a few minutes, looking at that guy, AGK something. No, mm. that age. Age. I think, <laughs> I think they're both strikers. Mm. They of them. Educate. So you weren't impressed with Educate? Huh? You weren't impressed with Educate, or were you impressed? No, 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 no. I, I, I was really impressed with Educate. Look, very short moment he came in. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, I'm sorry, we would need to really connect uh, with Mutu Adekpoju, of course, uh, talking about the former Nigerian player and, of course, uh, former Nigerian international. Yes, uh, he played most of his time right there in Spain. He played for um, the clubs like uh, the Team B of uh, Real Madrid. Also, he played uh, for uh, Racing, yes, uh, Racing Santander. And uh, also, not forgetting, too, he was right there in Spain and uh, he, he played played uh, also for the Spanish club Real Sociedad. Uh, he played most of his time right there in Spain and uh, of course uh, with all of his time he scored loads of goals and uh, he was of course uh, a midfield general uh, for Nigeria like I did say. He was right there uh, for, um, uh, for, for he, he actually had 48 caps in total uh, for Nigeria and of course uh, we'll be speaking with him this wonderful afternoon so that we can get to hear uh, from him. It was uh, part of the team that actually was there uh, for the World Cups uh, in 1994. He was also there uh, for the World Cup in 1998. We have him on the line now, and so let's go straight up to it. Uh, welcome to the show, Mutiwa Dekboju. Welcome to Sports Radio. Hello? Uh, no, I'm, uh, fine. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yes, uh, we are very well. And how do you do? Ah, uh, very well, very well. Thank you very much. Uh, a bright, uh, <laughs> not too sunny day in Ibadan here. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Wonderful, wonderful. We're delighted to have you here on Sports Radio Brilla FM all the time. Yeah, no, it's always my pleasure. It's always yes. my pleasure to be with you. <laughs> all right. So, and I know that you're very passionate. So, aside from, uh, I already, before we, we got through to you, I was talking about your time in Spain, you know, from uh, um, the Team B of Real, uh, Real Madrid, Racing Santander, Real uh, Sociedad. Aside from the fact that, you know, you're passionate about La Liga, you're an ambassador of La Liga, you're also very passionate about Nigeria. And I'm sure you followed up on our two international friendlies um, against Algeria and Tunisia. What, what are your views? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, um, uh, the two matches, I mean, they are not any bright ones. Uh, they weren't any the, the best matches I mean, that Nigeria could play. But uh, nevertheless, I still believe that I mean, we can have uh, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, Good, good things. I mean, from the matches. I mean, we could see that. I mean, if uh, the players are not really on their top form and all that, I mean, things. I mean, could go wrong. Hmm. Um, well, I will not say that. I mean, the two matches. I mean, we should use it to judge. I mean, the team. Okay. Uh, you know that. I mean, there are so many players that are absent. I mean, from the game. I mean, but, but did they really players. meet your expectation? You did they meet your expectation? Well, I, I mean, I expected, uh, they didn't really need it, I mean, because I expected, I mean, the, the new players, I mean, uh, to be, I mean, to play much more than that, and I mean, to, to perform much uh, more than, I mean, what I've seen, mm. but I mean, I could see some positives, I mean, some players, I mean, that are, are really doing well, like, uh, well, not I any mean, new player, uh, Leon Balogo has been over, but he is back now, and I mean, he, he was strong in the defense, and uh, I think, I mean, he could, then the, the new player from left full back, I mean, uh, uh, Sanusi, Zaidu Sanusi, mm -hmm. I could see that, I mean, he's a, a very strong player, and uh, he, he, he can do well and all that. But uh, aside that, I think, I mean, the, the midfield, I mean, didn't really uh, work the way I expected. I mean, I mean, it wasn't, I mean, that strong mm. the way I, yeah, I expected. Wow. Okay, uh, I was going to ask you about the debutants, uh, but you already answered that question before I came with that. Uh, so I'm just going to go straight to what you just talked about now, the midfield. The midfield, that is something that everyone noticed. Uh, our midfield tend to collapse, uh, even without the presence of our mainstay midfielders, you know. Uh, and I know in your time, you, 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 you held the midfield down. Yes, you did. Uh, so what can be done? What can be done to have a stable midfield, even when the main players, the main players are absent? What can be done? Uh, well, I think, I mean, a lot of things I mean, uh, I mean, can be done. Uh, for example, uh, Semi Ajayi, I know that, I mean, he, he, he used to play midfield I mean, when he was in, uh, I mean, in this club. Hmm. He used to play uh, defensive midfield, but, I mean, I don't think, I mean, he, the way I would have loved him to play in the Spigus, I mean, he, he didn't I mean, really, I mean, uh, old, I mean, he's very strong. And uh, aside uh, uh, it will be, uh, was moving and all that, I mean, the other ones, I mean, in the midfield, I mean, didn't really uh, impress me. Mm. Probably because, I mean, they are just, I mean, uh, coming. Uh, because I expected the midfield that I mean, is going to move the ball and I mean, move to the attack, support the attack, and I mean, be very strong, uh, so that I mean, the opponent will not be able to, I mean, to hold their own and all that. I mean, but I mean, I could see a midfield that I mean, uh, probably most of the times I mean, it was I mean, long ball from the defense that I mean, goes to the to the attack, and I mean, that uh, might be a little bit difficult. I mean, to 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 dictate I mean, the, the the pace of I mean, the game if the midfield is not I mean, that uh, strong. Hmm. Okay. Um, we are looking forward to November. Uh, it's just around the corner. October is almost done and packing away. Uh, the next time we come up uh, um, to see the Super Eagles again will be the AFCON qualifiers against Sierra Leone. Uh, from now till then, from now till November, what can the technical crew do to have more stability, to have stability? I don't even know if we have that yet, but you know, to have more stability ahead of that qualifier. Uh, well, I mean, the qualifier is going to be a different thing entirely uh, because, I mean, there, is, there won't be any room for testing again or I mean, uh, trying players and uh, testing players and all that. 
And I believe, I mean, by that time, I mean, the main players, uh, uh, someone like I any mean, indie probably would have come back at table, uh, Arrivo and all that. I mean, they, they, they would have I mean, come back. Uh, I think, I mean, the technical crew should just, I mean, uh, observe and I mean, watch I mean, the players I and mean, okay. be on top of them. I mean, uh, see them that I mean, they are doing well in their clubs. I mean, because I mean, every one of them have to be playing in their clubs and I mean, they have to do, uh, and they, they, they have to be fit, I mean, before coming back. Because I mean, by, by that time, it's going to be the qualifier, there won't be any, any room, I mean, that, and then I mean, we can't afford I mean, to, to have this kind of I mean, uh, game. I won't say that, I mean, the two games, I mean, were very, very bad. Mm. Uh, the fact is that, I mean, the expectation was very high. Mm. Uh, from the last time they played, I mean, the game which we, we saw uh, against uh, Ukraine, against Brazil and all that, which I mean, was a very fantastic game. And coming to this, and I mean, see, people expected, or uh, we, let me just say, <laughs> everybody generally expected. <laughs> I think we all did. Uh, the team, yeah. I expected the team to be uh, much more better than uh, or even the balls I mean, what they played I mean, the last time mm. than, than this. But I mean, I won't say that, I mean, that I mean, we should write them off and uh, that uh, uh, it's a bad game against Algeria and all that. I mean, uh, we lost and uh, uh, we drew yet to the game, but I mean, it wasn't I any mean, compact and I mean, the one that I mean, people had expected to see. But nevertheless, it's not. Uh, that I mean, we had. Uh, I mean, uh, we we have to write any demo or anything like that. I mean, mm. they still get good work, uh, in some capacity, and uh, we just I mean have to build on the on that and come back to the normal. So I believe I mean the next uh, game is not going to be a, a friendly mm. testing or trying uh, game again. It's going to be the real one in which I believe I mean that I mean we are going to see better game I mean, uh, uh, in, in those games. Awesome. Awesome. So if you're just tuning in to Sports Radio Rilla FM, yes, we have a, a former Nigerian international. In his time, he was the midfield general and, of course, uh, La Liga ambassador, Mathieu Adekpodju. I, I can't really let you go without asking you. Um, the poster boy, so to speak, uh, of La Liga and the Super Eagles has to be Chukweze. So what do you think about Chukweze sincerely? All right. Is he is it, is it really improving? Um, well, I will say that, I mean, uh, the uh, level of improvement, I mean, that I mean, is expected of him, uh, I think, I mean, he has I mean, uh, stagnated a little bit, hmm. uh, because, I mean, uh, in the past, I mean, uh, last two years, I mean, as he was coming, I expected him to be more and getting into the Super Eagles and, I mean, be the one that is going to dictate the space and not losing the ball too often and all that, I expected him to be, I mean, uh, more, more, more confident and more uh, functional and, I mean, be able to, uh, uh, to dictate I mean, the game and uh, give I mean, results. Uh, but I mean, I'm not seeing I mean, the, 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 this time around, and uh, I think I mean, we still have to improve. I mean, more. He has to get matured uh, because I mean, people are already knowing the way he plays and all that. So he must I mean, define a way, and then I mean, look for a way that I mean, uh, he's going to be able to deceive I mean, the defenders and then I mean, get through the final passes and uh, his last touches and the final passes to get to go and then I mean, his dribbling too to be to be successful. Mm. I think I mean you still have to work on that. Uh, I won't say he has uh, uh, really improved to the level of I mean what I mean I expect mm. personally. You do you I have to agree with you about stagnation that you mentioned. Uh, if you if you could speak with him now because Nigerians are quite disappointed, you know. Um, like you said, a lot of people believe that he should have improved much more than than he is or where he is right now. What would you tell Chukweze? Well, I will. I mean, I mean, uh, tell him he has any speech quite okay, and uh, they tend to know where he is going, what he is going to do at a particular moment. Uh, he, he should try and I mean, deceive any uh, opponent. He should try and uh, surprise opponent um, mm. in which I mean, way that I mean, they will not be able to de uh, detect and I mean, know where he is going, what he is going to do and all that. Yeah, he did I mean, some I mean, uh, movements I mean, which 
two when a player has able, was able to dribble them. But while you are dribbling, you should know you should know what he is going to do next mm. and where he's going to put the ball next. And then his final pass system I mean, should be accurate so that I mean it will get to go, it will get on into the to the striker that I mean he is there. And if he is going to go in himself, he must I mean, be determined and he must know that the defender I mean, cannot take him. I mean, he, he has I mean, the, everything that he takes, but uh, he is always going the same way, and then mm. they always I mean, uh, uh, they always know where he is going and all that. So I would rather tell him that I mean, sometimes he wants to go, he gives the pass, I mean, two to beat one and all that. I mean, so many things, I mean, so many tricks mm. in which I mean, he, uh, he can use. And I mean, when least expected, I mean, he can now go when they, uh, they don't expect him to go and all that. So there are so many things I mean, that I mean, he could do. He has I mean, the full step, he has uh, everything. I mean, just I mean, timing. He, he should time his uh, things and uh, uh, try and uh, uh, know when to go, when, know when to not to go, know when to pass, mm-hmm. and his passes should be I mean, uh, accurate. You, you, you have played at the biggest stage. I mean, you understand what it means to be unpredictable. What the, what should a young player like Chukweze do to be unpredictable? Because you've talked about knowing where to, how to play so that your opponent does not predict where you are dribbling to. Well, I mean, if, uh, if Is it practice? Training too. Okay. Yeah, it has to do with training. It has to do with I mean, practice. Uh, I think I mean the coaches too should be able to I mean uh, I mean direct him, tell him I mean uh, when to go. Uh, you can't be predictable, as you said. Uh, I mean if you are, if people know where you are going, I mean mm-hmm. they will just I mean go and wait for you there. Mm-hmm. But I mean if you I mean the first time. You give a pass, you receive the pass back, you give a pass, and I mean, when you are going to go, they will not know what you are going to do next. Mm. But if, when you get the ball, you are always running, I mean, uh, okay, he is always going to run. And I mean, <laughs> they wow. go and wait for him there. So, if you give passes, go, dribble, give passes, and I mean, uh, he, uh, they will not know. So, when he is taking off, I mean, with the speed and everything, mm. I mean, he will just, I mean, take the, I mean, catch them on our ways and all that. So, I think, I mean, it has to do with training, it has to do with, I mean, the coaches, mm. I mean, uh, talking to him, enlightening him, and uh, uh, giving him, I mean, I mean, advices and all that. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. It's been wonderful having you here on the show. Thank you so much for your time, uh, Mutua yes, Depoju. Always yes, a pleasure to have you here. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right, enjoy the rest Bye-bye. of your day. Yeah, and you too. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, and of course, that was uh, a former Super Eagles player, midfield general uh, in his time. And of course, uh, he definitely uh, said it has to do with training, practice, practice, practice. I wonder if it has to do with football intelligence too, because you have to be very intelligent to be versatile in what you do, um, aside from just uh, practicing. Practicing is a larger part also. But anyway, uh, he says, uh, Chukweze needs to be less predictable he needs to be able to know what he wants to do with the ball not that his opponent would actually know where he's going with the football all right so let's get to hear from you zero seven triple zero triple zero eight eight nine again that's zero seven triple zero triple zero eight eight nine before we get uh, to dj voice uh, for some music but of course we'll get to find out what you've got to say hello Hello, good afternoon to you, Scott Amazon. Yes, good afternoon. My name is Rudy Amazon. Okay, Rudy. Is, is, is that a good one from uh, the two I did for you? Mm. It's true, our players, uh, they are comfortable everywhere they are. They don't want to do more to improve their game. Mm. See, even at all yesterday, you score a very brilliant goal. Then you just. Uh, Everything with the woman, you just play penalty as if that is a big last woman. The other day, I was advocating for you were telling me that uh, you're talking about his way. I think in in a choice, weight is not the matter. In a talk, I'm in. In a choice, is a very good player. All I understand is it's like he has an actual problem. If he can drop that and be disciplined, he has a very long way to go. Most of so the it was his attitude that made him feel that penalty. He could have taken a better athletic. It's everyone. What to show off? What to show off? Right. You are not Peter Ramo. You are not Lionel Messi. You are straight to say that. 
Say that is a very good player, no doubt about that. Like I say, to pay you. But the, maybe, maybe the money is getting into the eye. I don't know. So, that is the shoulder. You have a long way to go. Not now. It's not the time for you to receive that. It's time for you to work harder. Harder. All right. Thank you. thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll take more calls. 7 889 You heard from Mutu Adepodri there saying, uh, well, the team will still not play like they played from the last two international friendly. It will be different when they come up against Sierra Leone uh, because uh, the technical crew know it's no longer trial and error. Hello. Hello. Good Welcome. Good afternoon. good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Michael. Hello, Michael. Yeah, uh... I don't know if I should if I will say that he is not a serious uh, footballer. And at least we can you expect him after one season uh, after one season you expect him to go a step further. Mm. Just like uh Jao Felix, that boy from uh, Hakimi, the, those we are the people that the uh, top five before the top five young footballers. And look at Hakimi he's he's waiting, his uh, his value is, is going up. The other guy, to Felix, is, they are all going up. Achuba is, is, is dropping. You know, I, I think that Ghana Cross should have helped him by threatening him a, a, a little bit, by dropping him in the intercom match. So that, you know, to show the satisfaction that, that he didn't do well. So that one month, if he, if he goes back on the face, he will come back stronger. You don't start, you don't give him the uh, starting shots in the first game, he didn't perform. Second game, again, you allowed him to play for 70 minutes. We saw uh, what the uh, AGK did. Mm. When you came on, we saw the flashes. You don't just you, 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 you motivate this. How do you, in fact, if, if, um, what is name, the clinic, they should stop bringing up these friendly matches. It's a waste of time and waste of money. You organize the friendly match, you allow Moses Simon to play 90 minutes in, in, in the two matches. Balo Golo, but we have seen this before. Let us see the new guys. Yakubu, why don't you uh, give those guys playing time? Mm. What is wrong with uh, a lie, you know? What, why don't you give all these people to Germany? Let's see them. Let's see how they will play. You are playing the old guys that are, that, that are, uh, are even getting tired. Look at Ahmed Musa. He is a fantastic player, but these guys are now in the final uh, uh, stage, stage, uh, stage of, their, of their career. We allow the young boys to give them the confidence to, to take over from them. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll take a few more calls. 7 889 Again, that's 7 889 uh, Since you mentioned Ahmed Musa is celebrating his birthday uh, today. He's a year older today. And uh, let's quickly take a few more calls from you. We are talking about how you expect, uh, seeing the two international friendlies now, seeing how Nigeria did, uh, what do you expect? What to expect now uh, in uh, the game against Sierra Leone? Yes, the Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. Mutu Adekpoju says it will be back to serious business and uh, the technical crew will still have stability regardless of what was seen from Algeria and Tunisia. The main players will be back and um, he says uh, for, for stability, for us to be able to um, handle a team without our mainstay midfielders or mainstay players like was evident from the Algeria game and Tunisia game, well, they would need to have to work with the other players to improve their ability uh, so that if even when the main players are not there, they can step in uh, uh, to, to still hold the team down. Let's take a few more calls. 7 889 Again, that's 7 889 We'll take a few calls and we'll get back to music in a bit. Uh, DJ Voice is in the building. I'm going to take a few more calls on this one. And uh, we're talking about the game against uh, Sierra Leone. I'm going to quickly, I'm going to read a few comments here from uh, the social media platform. I'm going to quickly read a few here here uh, before we cross over yes so this one is coming in from honorable honorable victor ikechuku from says uh, good afternoon uh, sports amazon i must say that i'm not impressed uh, going uh, by the level of performance uh, that the super eagles um, played in their last two friendlies they need to step up their game uh, before their africa cup of nations uh, qualifiers in november and of course here is another one it's uh, coming in from uh, daniel uh, leonard it says uh, seeing you for the first time that's wonderful that's why you need to be watching us online on facebook and also on twitter all right so let's get back uh, to it. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to some music. And of course, once we get back, we'll t uh, take it to the foreign scene because, of course, uh, international break is over and it's back to the action. Uh, back to the action. I think I can talk to this caller before we go for DJ Voice. Hello. 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 Hello.
Hello. Yes, hello. Okay. Hi. Hello. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome. I'm so lucky that whenever I call this station, you're always the first thing on board. Wonderful. What's your name? <laughs> yeah. My name is Christopher. Christopher. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's let's see this way. Mm. The gospel truth is that our Nigerian players are all serious players. Hmm. Yes. The truth is that we are very comfortable on wherever we see ourselves. Mm. One is that the country is not really helping in the matter. You understand? Mm. You know, by the time these guys go abroad and they receive a kind of sign-on fee, by the time they change its dollars, pounds to Naira, it gets into them. You understand? Look at it. So, apart from the errors of the JJs, the Kanos, the Mutus, there is no player that is always, you understand, in the increase when it comes to value. Mm. You understand? Yeah. We only shine for the first season of our career and the next thing is we are being downgraded hmm. are you getting me yes I, I you understand yeah. okay check out check out the the, the likes of chukwese now all the players who came out of the limelight with all of them are going up high high he is the only one dropping hmm. why because we we get so get so okay with where we find ourselves you understand we begin to live some flamboyant lives you understand? Do you see Chukwe the buy us? Okay, does Chukwe the end better than Asufati of Barcelona? He doesn't. That guy is far, far away ahead of him when it comes to salary wise. What does that guy use as a ride? They buy, they go for simple, simple cars. But you see our guy, this one is driving Ferrari, this one Lamborghini. You understand? Mm. You get me. You understand? Okay. They, get, they, for, they forget that this is their career. That is why you find out that most of our players, ex-players, when they retire, you find out that they, they have nothing. There are different, two different ways from having a manager and having somebody to manage your finance. Okay. You understand? For the future. You understand? Mm. Okay, let me bust your head. You understand? No bust my mm. head. I still need my head. <laughs> <laughs> no bust my head. <laughs> you see, okay, the truth is that it is more easier for you to make money, but more difficult for you to sustain that money at a certain level. Hmm. And that is the problem we have with our players. Okay. You understand? All right. Okay. The only player I have seen that has sustained his value in the whole of Nigerian team is only OBD. That is the only player we can so, come so out in a and nutshell, in a nutshell, the rest yeah. of the players need to step up and they need to not of lose course, focus. Of course. Okay. Let me tell you something. I have not seen any, any star player that knows his role and very important for his club side that leaves the team to go back to his club. You understand? Before okay. the international break finishes. Look at the so called captain we have in that team and, and, and the defense. You understand? Mm. Echo. Uh, you understand? Mm. He went back because he doesn't have a regular play, playing time. So he has to go and, and No, 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 not necessarily. Oh. He's new at no, the no, club. No, no, no. He's new. No, 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 no. no. Oh, oh, okay. Not he, necessarily. Oh. Oh. Speak the side of okay. your story. Oh. If you are new somewhere, okay. would, you know okay. to, would you know how to do your okay. very best to hold your spot? Okay, forget. We mm. have. We He's have a new player, player there, oh, my brother. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is not the only new player being signed this season. It doesn't matter. Okay. You have okay. to you have to okay. be in your best behavior now. Okay. Eh? What is it? Is it the only one that went for international break? Mm. He's not the only one. We have to, we have players in, uh, in like it's in a Is it also the first time you will hear that a player was excused because of uh, some other a, 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 a game that was close? Close by few, few, few few come on, them, come on, cut, him, cut, him, it, cut it, him some it, slack. It, it, Eh, if if, if, if Leon Balogu cannot make it a first team shirt in Scotland, Scottish League, what are we talking about? Okay. All, all our okay, players but, are in But you, all, you also have to applaud that uh, Leon Balogu has gotten better for the Super Eagles. Didn't you see an improvement uh, from the two games? I think I was impressed. No, no, I didn't expect that. Uh, uh, my dear, my dear, is not that. He was a blunder in the first game. There was no ball control. There was no accurate pass. Mm. No, no, come on. We have to say the fact. Hmm. Let's stop painting things. 
Hmm. You understand? Let's stop thinking things. Okay. All right. Thank if, you so if, much. If the, main, if the main players are not there, again, I think the second children should be able to, you understand, fit in. All right. That's why you must you must actually have international games, so the inter yes. international friendlies to make your mistake and learn from them. Let's hope that Raw has learned from yes. this, you know, uh, going yes, forward. All should, right. We should always, I have we to let you go now, okay? Out. Because of other people trying, all right? I've given you enough time. Let's quickly read some comments and back to DJ Voice. Uh, Emeka Lewis says, I think that the two matches didn't uh, fulfill their purpose uh, because it was supposed to be the test of fresh legs, uh, but we were seeing the same old, um, old legs. Uh, good afternoon to you. All right, let's get back uh, to DJ Voice right here on your champion style. We'll come back and we'll take you to the foreign scene because, of course, there are games to look forward to this weekend. <laughs>
number one, Sports Radio. Maybe it's more nine, but whatever you do, don't touch that dial. <laughs> Okay, Sports Radio, the 8.9 Red Light FM is still your champion. And, of course, uh, we're still in the building, so I'm just going to let you know, in case you didn't know already, uh, we talked about Nigeria earlier on, talked about the Super Eagles extensively during the show. However, something looking good for Neymar right there in his country, Brazil. Um, He actually needs 14 goals. Yes, he needs 14 goals to overtake Pelé. Pelé as Brazil's all-time leading goal scorer. Yes. So what this basically means is you're, ta- you're you're thinking about the best of the best in Brazil. Your top has scored 62 goals, uh, 64 goals, sorry. While Ronaldo, yes, uh, of Brazil, of course, has 62 goals. So he has overtaken him already. Now, the person left for Neymar to overtake on that list of all-time leading goal scorer for Brazil is Pelé. Pelé. Pelé has 77 goals. All right. So 14 more. 14 more. And Neymar will overtake him. Yes. Just like that. So do you guys really think he will be able to do this before his time is up for Brazil? Hmm? Let's find out from you. 7 14 more goals. And Neymar will overtake Pelé. Yes. Uh, Pelé's goals that he scored was 77. And young Neymar has already scored 64. Much more than Ronaldo scored. Much more than Romario and Zico. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon once again. Yes, good afternoon. Welcome. My name is Jay I'm not so sure. Okay. With the way he's going now, I think in another few years to surpass Pele's record as far as this calling is concerned. So, and he's he, he, actually 25. Yeah, he's 28. So, and so he can score more 14 goals hmm. in the next few years. Uh, by the time he plays uh, 20 matches with all this lower team, hmm. two at trick or three at trick in three matches. Before you know it, he will surpass Pelé. But does that now mean, when he surpasses Pelé, that he, he might now become the best best player no, ever there no, in Brazil? No, 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 no. I won't, I won't, I won't say because he surpassed Pelé's record as far as this score is concerned. I will pick him ahead of Pelé, Ronaldo, and Lionel Messi. Hmm. No, 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 no. All right. Let him, let him, let him, let him win the Ballon d'Or. Mm. The way Messi and Ronaldo dominated it for years. Mm. Then we will now bring him closer to them. But if it's a surprise, uh, good or Pele, he can uh, judge him as the first player so far. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, let's let you know that Spain boss Luis Enrique, he's been defending Manchester United goalkeeper David De Gea after his mistake against Ukraine. And of course, Spain's 15 game on beating run was ended when they were beaten in Kiev uh, just on Tuesday night 1-0. And of course, uh, that was thanks to a second half goal that came in uh, from their opponents with questions being asked about the abilities and the positioning of uh, David De Gea. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Oh, I can't really hear you. Maybe you should call us back. By the way, David Ahea is someone that a lot of people have been complaining about, um, you know, his form uh, for a couple of years now. I think in the past two years, people have been complaining about his form. Uh, do you think, do you think uh, that indeed things are really catching up with David Ahea? Um, that mistake, of course, even though Louis Enrique actually defended him and staunchly came out in, in, in defense, you know, of David Ahea. But let's find out from you. Also, I asked you a question about Neymar. So let's quickly get your calls, 0 7 triple zero triple zero eight eight nine again that's zero seven triple zero triple zero eight eight nine how do you do hello good afternoon my name is akan all right akan nice to speak with you in here so i think for neymar makes um that target to surpass the last scoring record mm. so like the um last call i said neymar does not have a ballon d'or to his name mm. um has not won the world cup yet so there are so many other things. Pele, um, Maradona, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo are one of the kind. There are people who you use them to mark an error. Mm. There is nothing that 
time that stands Neymar out to say Neymar is a, a colossus or something that you say this is a Neymar era that, that marks that distinguishes him mm. from other players. Even where he plays in Europe, he's not even the best player in Europe right now. You understand? So yeah. that, for that one. So as for David De Gea, I think something went wrong at one point when he didn't make that switch to Manchester to Real Madrid. Real Madrid. <laughs> yes, I think that that field is the one. So he lost something. He lost something. Seems that the time that that thing didn't happen, that um, that switch to Real Madrid did not happen. I think mm. he lost something. He needs to be discovered. So maybe some psychologists need to help to prep him up and talk to him again. We did that thing psychologically first mm. before he can be able to demonstrate it physically. Otherwise, it's, it's something is really missing. Okay, all right. Thank you. I quite agree with you. Uh, something left him psychologically. Something actually left him. And ever since then, he's really not been the same. Yes, uh, let's quickly get more. Uh, we'll read from the social media platform. Uh, let's quickly go for Bobby Uka Igwe with his comment here. And he says, uh, okay, um, he can do it. Uh, but even if he does it, he will never, ever be as uh, be greater than Pelé, Ronaldo de Lima, and Ronaldinho. Uh, let's quickly go for another one. Um, this is another uh, David Carade says the boys, the Super Eagles, uh, they refuse to know that it's the Super Eagles that they are playing for Abi. Why not uh, uh, just uh, take the opportunity given to them and make us proud? Anyway, uh, here is Afolabi. Afolabi Kola Wale he says Neymar, uh, with the race, is possibility for him to overtake uh, the lead uh, of the all time top scorers of Brazil. Age is really on his side. And no, that does not really make him the best footballer of all time from Brazil. Hello. Hello. Yes, how do you do? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. God's power. All right, God's power. Let's go. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, Nema, mm. the person who called it. No, it's been a while, Nema's got to go to Brazil. Okay. And uh, even at 12 years old, he's been to Ubudet, in the school, 10 times. If you ask me, uh, he has been to the one campus, the eight months of the Ubudet. Unless he has, he has discovered his best power, but then he can have my son the chance of overtaking a player, but if he is just one on, one off, and all that, I don't think he can get best power in the first place. I know South America don't have that longevity. Mm. Mm. So, and uh, for Spain, blaming the world for every error and all that, I, I don't think it's really fair on him. Mm. That is not the answer to my fear the game. Nobody the defense system. It's not just for, for the game. Nobody is blaming the defense. Nobody is blaming the, the, the other players. Just the other. Mm. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. All right, then. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. It's on that note to we'll wrap up the show. Thank you, everyone, for listening to the Lunch Sports Show this wonderful afternoon. Thanks to the crew. Thank you to all of you who watched us on Twitter, on Facebook. We appreciate you. Thanks to those listening via the Brilla app. If you haven't downloaded, please do. Download on, uh, on uh, the, the iOS or on Android. Go ahead and download Brilla uh, app. And, of course, thanks to the crew. Thank you, Judo Boji. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, Joshi Keokoli, uh, Sheyaluko. Thank you, DJ Voice. Uh, thank you, Baba Femi Raji. And my name is Oge Chukuka Maogo. You know me as the Sports Amazon. More still coming your way here. <laughs>